Hi, I'm Don Sheen with Caddyshack Golf and Teaching Center back in Jacksonville on this warm, sunny day here in Jacksonville. It is winter time and guess what? All our Bermuda grass has gone dormant and we have tight lies everywhere. And many of my students talk about this. They have such a trouble chipping off tight lies. They have the chip yips. And contrary to what people always say that a steep angle of attack causes it, not in all cases. More commonly, I see something quite opposite. When golfers get over the golf ball on these tight lies, they're, they're thinking about taking that club low, not being steep. What they end up doing is they pull the club to the inside and low. Now that club is so shallow, the only way to pinch down on the ball and hit a solid chip, they go down with their right side and they do this and they hit that fat shot. After they do that a couple of times, they're terrified of hitting that fat shot. Those that do it know what I mean. So they don't want to hit it fat. So they take it low, shallow inside. They go down and they pull their arms up and they blade it across the green. What we want is the proper descending blow on the golf ball. Yeah, too steep will get you in trouble, but in most cases that I see, People are too shallow and too inside on the takeaway on these chips. So what I want you to do, all of you that are on tight lies, whether it's summer or winter and you're chipping the ball, where you have to be a little more perfect, we're going to move a little closer to the ball, which is going to promote a more upward and downward motion of the golf club. And we're not going to take it way to the inside and low. We're going to feel the club come up a little bit. You want to position the sternum, your sternum is the bottom part of your swing, slightly ahead of the golf ball. And I like playing the ball a little right of center. So here we go. We're going to get aligned at our target, move a little closer, take a couple of practice swings, and feel that club pinch down. If I have that club swinging up and down, there's no need for my body, my hand or eye coordination to go down with that right side. The club will go down by itself and your body will start understanding that. So moving in a little closer, couple practice strokes, feeling that pinch down and swing through. Here we go. Feel it work up, feel it work down. And I just hit a very solid, crisp chip shot. Go in ball. Ah, it just went by the hole back a little bit. But understand, sometimes we exaggerate what people say, too steep of an angle of attack. And in doing so, I see golfers pull that club way low and into the inside. And the only way to pinch down on the ball is to go down with the right side. Once again, those that do it know what I'm talking about. It's almost like a seizure motion. But what we want to feel is move in closer, feel that club swing up a little bit more. Now the club naturally swings down and it starts pinching the grass. So your right shoulder and your body and your hand-eye coordination will know, I don't need to go down anymore. The club's going to go down on that more up and down path. And when you do that, you'll hit it cleanly, solid chips off tight lies, and when that ball's setting up, it'll be that much easier. Practice the way you take it back, and you'll be a better chipper of the ball.